every year, often visiting families and friends that they have uh, from Australia. There are new, new TV stations and newspapers opening up all over Australia in a range of dialects and languages from the region. And the, the Australian Labor Party has long supported uh, these, uh, these media enterprises because we need, uh, we need a voice for communities from, from the subcontinent in Australia in order for these communities to be a full party of, uh, of our, of our uh, democracy. And of course there is the food, uh, which many of you here are, are here to celebrate. In my experience, there's no better way of enjoying and sharing other cultures than through food. That's how we forge our relationships and how we uh, make enduring bonds. Uh, sharing a meal is something that comes across all cultures. Um, and uh, subcontinent, um, and South Asia has uh, many fantastic flavours to share in that, in that bond. Um, the festivals, uh, this festival highlights the growing connection between our cultures and I'm told there are 22 countries represented here today through their cuisine and over 60 Melbourne businesses. I'm also told that we're expecting to break last year's total of 18,000 patrons. So that'll be a massive effort if we can get there. So it's a fantastic effort and one that all of the organisers should be proud of. Um, we need more events like this um, in, in Melbourne and in Melbourne's West that celebrate all of our different cultures coming together in Australia and making this country a better and more interesting place to live. So thank you for having me here today. It's a pleasure to be part of such a warm and vibrant cultural festival. And I'll say it again, Jai India, Jai Australia. Thank you.